In this video, we will be exploring contacts, which is a part of Travify's CRM tools. This is built into your Travify account and is going to allow you to manage and organize your client and business contacts easily. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how do we get here. When you first log into Travify, you'll be on your trips list. However, up in the navigation area, you'll have your contacts tab. And once you select that, that's where we are currently. But the next step is how do we add contacts in here? And there's two ways of doing so from this screen. You can either import your contacts, and this is going to show you how you can set up a spreadsheet to import your clientele. Or you can always download the template file, which is already gonna have these columns and rows set up for you, and you can easily put in the information like that. Once you're done and ready, you can upload the file in here and confirm and import it over. The other way of doing this is by selecting new contact up at the top left, and by doing so, it's going to open up a blank contact profile for you to fill in with information. I'm actually going to click out of this one, and we're gonna take a look at Cynthia Smith. Now, the first thing on this left-hand column is our task area. This is where you can add in automations, tasks, or task lists from your library. If you're interested in information around automations and tasks, make sure to check out our Getting Started video guide on it. The next area below that is going to be your description. This is where you can add a few quick notes about your client to help identify them really quickly. The next area are your details. This is where you can add an email, phone, and a street address, and you can add multiple for your contact. And the area below that is going to be our custom fields. This is gonna be categories of information that you like to collect on a client that isn't contact information. So when I click add, these are all of the custom fields that I have already added into my Travify account. These are going to be custom to me. And so when you're ready to add your own in, just manage custom fields. It's going to give you a pop-up window and just add another field in. So if we're looking for a seat preference, we can type in seat preference. And on the right-hand side of that is going to be the type of text that we want. Do we want this to be a short text or is this a date? Or do we want this to be protected to have a little bit more security? The choice is up to you, but for right now, I'm going to select it as short text, click the check mark and select done editing. Another fun fact about that is custom fields can be added into your forms. So when your client goes to fill out a form and they put maybe that Disney rewards number down, that's going to automatically update and populate within your client's contact area under custom fields. Same for contact information. But let's talk about labels now. Labels is throughout Travify and how we organize things. This is where you can add multiple labels and you can type up your own custom labels. For me, I want to put down that this is a new client. This is a current label of mine, so I'll select it. And maybe she's going on the Disney 2025 trip of mine that I'm promoting. Again, you can add as many labels as you want and create as many labels uh, that you want named differently. I'm gonna click out of there so you can see where these are at. We have Disney 2025, and I can see that there are two contacts assigned with that label. And I can see that I only have one client with the new client label. I can click into each one and it will filter for me the different contacts that have that label. But let's go back into Cynthia's contact. The next areas are these tabs. We have a notes tab. This is where you can manually add notes. And again, this is a private area that your client will not see. A lot of times you can add in your call notes their different preferences, whatever it might be. You can always go back and click the pencil icon. We have different formatting options as well within here. Now, I'm gonna keep that note. I don't wanna delete that. But let's go over to itineraries. The nice thing about Travify is when you email anything, we're going to be able to track it. So whenever I email an itinerary to this client's email address that's on their contact, it's going to automatically load in all of those different trips. And so you can see, we have a lot of different ones that we've sent to Cynthia. Same thing for forms. Any forms that are sent to this email address on their contact, we're gonna be able to continue tracking the history. You can also see on these forms, we can see when they viewed it, if they haven't viewed it, and ones they've responded to. You can view responses easily just from within the contact, or you can always download the PDF as well. And last but not least is the documents area. This is an encrypted area and is extremely secure, but if you have any questions about the encryption or if your client has any questions about the security, feel free, chat us or email us, and we're happy to provide you that documentation. Now, as you can see, I have a passport in here. 
And another fun fact, whenever you ask for a document upload on a form, the documents are going to be stored right within your client's document area for you to access later on. But that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions regarding contacts, again, please reach out to us and make sure to check out the rest of our Getting Started video guide. Thanks for watching.